Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Reese Parton and today I have a trailer reaction. It's for something I call slightly different because it's not usual that shows have a trailer that is called the release date trailer, but that's what this one is for Doctor Who season 12. And I like what the uh, Twitter page for Doctor Who said, which was you asked for a trailer, so we gave you two. So without further ado, I'm going to put my headphones on and we'll get going. Ooh. Crisis. Big crisis. Serious crisis. Big serious crisis. Ooh. Seen that bit before. Kisses. It's quite French, that, isn't it? <laughs> Pop music at the end. Ella. Who are you, Doc? You don't know me. You're the woman that brought us together. Something's coming for me. Ooh. We'll be right here. By your side. Let's go. Ooh. Tension between the fam. Welcome to the end of your lives. People Ooh. can save planets or wreck them. I will take everything. Ah, get away from them. Be the best wow. of humanity. I've seen a lot of this before, but some of that new stuff is amazing. Cyberman again. Fancy a trip in the box? Hmm. New Year's Day. It's going to become a habit with Chibnall. Alrighty, so, a lot going on there. I'll probably watch it a second time during this video, but yeah, I like that we've got New Year's Day specials. Uh, I liked the Christmas specials a lot, I really do. Most of them, some weren't quite as good. Some were classics, some were just, you know, a really great, you know, like A Christmas Carol for me is the most creative because it's a great adaptation of um, the story A Christmas Carol. I quite like The Snowman because that's really fun. That's really Doctor Who and it draws on some plot threads that were happening at that time because obviously it had a different version of Clara uh, than we'd had previously and there were questions related to that but that's just fun. I like deep diving into Doctor Who history and Doctor Who plots and season arcs and whatever. I, I like that sort of thing. But New Year's start, that's pretty cool. And the fact that it's the start of a season, not even a special, is also interesting. And it's kind of like The Mandalorian recently where that came out on a Wednesday and then... Uh, the Friday, or maybe it was a bit earlier than that. Anyway, as far as I could tell, I'm pretty sure New Year's Day is a Wednesday. And then the next episode will be that Sunday. And then a week after that, we'll start getting into regular weekly episodes. So that's pretty cool, actually. I kind of like that a lot. And I like that it's going to be a two-parter. And there, are, there isn't that big a gap. So you get people during their holidays of uh, the New Year, Christmas period. Obviously, Christmas will have passed by then. But you get people, you draw them in. They see that first episode. If the cliffhanger is dramatic enough, and I hope it is, then they'll go, whoa, how does this crew of people get out of this? And then they'll watch later on. And that could be brand new people. could be people who've, you know, because some people have been really iffy recently about Doctor Who and they've been kind of wondering, but hopefully it's enough to draw them in. That's my biggest hope. I hope that this strategy isn't just clever in terms of being a strategy, but I hope the story warrants it. I hope it's a really, really good story. I think we'll watch it again. And I think if I'm right, I've got a theory that both trailers have been featuring mainly the first episode or first two. And I quite like that. Maybe maybe a little bit of the episodes afterwards, but I think it's just the first few episodes. And I like that. There's a lot of mystery going on. I would actually personally would have liked the Cybermen to have remained a mystery and not known that they were returning until the episode, but they are a useful marketing tool, especially when people weren't quite pleased with the lack of original, no, old series villains. I was going to say original, but original villains actually is what they did. They had new villains, original ones created for that season. But this one has got a few returning monsters. And I think, I'll point one out in a minute. I think it's an, another returning monster, not just the Dradoon, possibly the Rachnos, because that's a theory that's going around that it's the Rachnos. And of course, the Cybermen are returning. I've forgotten its name, but I think the Hux is in there, or the Hox, or something like that, or Hoix even. I don't know. Whatever it's called, it was in Love and Monsters, uh, The Big Bang, when all the aliens gathered together and put the Doctor in the Pandorica, and Torchwood at some point. I'll point it out. I'll say that's it when it comes on screen because I think it is it but it might not be a returning monster it might be something new but I, if it is returning that's what I what monster I think it is so I'll put my headphones on and we'll get back into it is that an aircraft hanger around? Big, crisis. Big, Big crisis. crisis serious crisis Big that's it serious <laughs> it looks a bit like the head's the right sort of shape kisses it's quite French that <laughs> that's it? cute I don't really like the pop music on the trailers. It was fine for the first few trailers we got for last season, but I want Who score. You? <laughs> you don't know me. And the angst here. Brought us together. Something's coming for me. We'll be right here. 
by your side. Let's go. That is going to be interesting to see. Welcome to the end of your lives. People can save planets or wreck them. I will take everything. <laughs> that thing looks creepy and gross. Consider as you hope restored. Saturday. Fancy a trip in the box? We gotta save the world. Hmm. Alrighty, I need to double check something actually. What costume is she wearing? Because as far as I could tell, that first one where they're in the tux, they're all in tuxes, tuxedos. Uh, I think that's the first episode. I think. I don't know. But that, and it looks like we're focusing a lot on that episode in the trailer, which, like I said, I do like. But that bit where she's saying, you don't know me, and there's a lot of angst going on. Yeah, she's wearing her normal costume. So that's later in the season. I'm going to get rid of these, by the way. Yeah, so this is later in the season. This this angsty scene, this and I don't say angst. A lot of people say, oh, it's angsty and they're belittling it. But this is like, you know, there's tension. She's worried about something and she, I think she's trying to separate herself from the others to protect them. Maybe I might be reading into it a lot, but something's coming for her. She's worried about it. So she's distancing herself by saying, you don't know me. Look, you don't know me. Maybe you should stay away. That's a really cool take uh, or a really cool spin. Um, I think they were really quick to jump into the whole fam thing. I also think they say it too much. But it would have been better to start saying it this season once you've gotten to know each other a bit. Because she's right. In their second season together, she's saying, you don't know me. She probably should have been saying that last year. Anyway, <laughs> it looks cool. It looks really cool. And the Doctor's quirky in it. But then also there's a hint of seriousness because that's my biggest hope. I've seen things like... Actually, recently, here's a bit of a plug. I take part in a podcast called the 20 Megabyte Doctor Who Podcast. And we recently reviewed uh, the fifth Doctor story, Earthshock. And for those of you who don't know, I'm going to slightly spoil it, but it's got the Cybermen in it. And the Cybermen are one of those villains that just kind of put the Doctor on edge, gets him serious and stern, and he stands up for people around him. And there's some gorgeous conflict between Peter Davison and the uh, Cybermen. And we need that for Jodie. She hasn't really... She's a good person. Like The Doctor is a good character, good-hearted, kind character. So that's... That's in all of them. Even when it's Capaldi, who's very stern and cold and, you know, makes quite uh, tasteless <laughs> comments like he's the first layer, if you want to say hello to him, in uh, Into the Dalek. Even he is still a noble, kind, protective kind of person who will do the right thing, the honourable thing. But <laughs> sometimes he's a bit of a, a bit rude about it, really. But that's funny, too. I found that funny when he said that. And we need that for Jodie. We need her also to stand up for people, for herself, to put draw a line in the sand. We haven't had that. One of my favourite speeches ever that just sums up the entire character of the Doctor, which includes her, except this version of the Doctor hasn't had that yet, is the speech from Zygon Inversion. That is one of the most powerful speeches ever. It is. It was just very cathartic to watch because at the time, given what was going on in the world, not to get too political. I'm very political, but I won't get too political now. I might do videos about politics at one point. But anyway, uh, it was very timely, very powerful, uh, and I related to it a lot. And Peter Capaldi was amazing delivering it. And the Doctor was amazing standing their ground and trying to induce empathy. Not standing their ground like in one of my other favourite things where it's Star Wars and they'd be willing to fight. He was trying to be intellectual about it. And emotional as well. Really, really good stuff. So again, I hope we get a bit of that this season from Jodie. Anyway, this video is getting long enough as it is. If you liked that, please hit the like button. If you want to see more, please subscribe. Uh, if you want to hear me talk about Doctor Who more often and in depth, check out the 20 megabyte Doctor Who podcast on iTunes. Stitcher, maybe? <laughs> I know they're on Podbean, the Podbean app. Uh, but yeah, any way you can get podcasts, or most ways you can get podcasts, it should be there. It's good fun. It's me and a bunch of mates talking about Doctor Who. Bunch of mates all around the world, by the way, and that's what I love about Doctor Who. It's got a worldwide fandom, and we got two people here in Australia, me being one of them, uh, three in America, and two in England. But anyway, check it out, and uh, check another video out when another one comes from me. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.